Hi guys, it's me, Nikki, and I might look a little bit different just because I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, I don't know how different I look, probably not too much different, but just a little bit. Um, I just got out of the shower, and I'm just in my pajamas, I just did my hair, it's soaking wet, and I just wanted to do the Perfect Imperfections tag, because I think it's a really great tag that a lot of girls are doing here on YouTube kind of letting it be known that we're not all perfect we don't all look like supermodels in the magazines even they don't look like that um there's a lot of airbrush going on and computerized things going on and you know we all have some insecurities and things we like about ourselves as well and things we don't so um i just wanted to make this video and i tag everyone else who wants to do it to do it as well i like watching these a lot they're very inspirational and kind of um, I don't know they make you feel better about yourself as well so anyways um, I guess I will start off with the three things I do not like about myself or my insecurities are just like yeah that so um, the first thing would be sorry I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the camera to see my face but um, I would have to say this line right here I have a line on my nose I have no idea why if you can kind of see it, it's just there. It's kind of always been there since high school. I have no idea what it is. It's just like a red line, kind of red. I don't know. And it's just always there. I don't know why. It's, my mom says it's probably because like, I wet my nose, I go up. But I never do that. I never do that. I don't like doing that. Like, I just don't. And I don't think that's the reason why it's there. I think it's just there. And I don't know if it's a birthmark or what it is. But I don't like it. Um, I do cover it up with makeup, concealer, and stuff like that. Sometimes you can kind of see it still, but for the most part, you can't really see it. So that's the first thing. The second thing would have to be... Um, my gap. I have a little gap. It's not really that big, but I feel... Like, as I'm getting older, it's getting bigger, and I don't want that. It used to be cute when I was little, but now when I look at it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish it was closed, because I just, I don't want it to get bigger, and I don't know, it kind of makes me look like Chip and Dale or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's not that bad. I don't mind it too much, but if it were smaller or closed, I would like it a lot better. So, yeah. Third thing would have to be my skin. Um... I don't really have acne, but I do have acne scarring, and I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation, and I just don't like it. I wish I had flawless skin, but I know that is not reality. A lot of people have problems with their skin. Um, it's just a thing in, of life that we all have to go through, but let's try to get closer. Um, you can't really see my scarring too much in this camera because it's not that great quality, but if you look here, I have... A little bit and then down in here it's just really red all the time and kind of dry it's just really red and blotchy kind of and then like through here and sometimes right here but yeah I just I wish I could get rid of the darker spots and the hyperpigmentation and the red blotchiness and acne scarring because I just don't like it so those are the three things I don't like about myself um they're not too big of a deal you know I can live with it, but let's go on with the three things I like about myself. So the first thing I would have to say is my hair. I like that it's curly. I didn't always like that it's curly. I've grown to like it because, you know, when you have curly hair, you want straight hair. And probably when you want straight hair, you want curly hair. You can't have both, but I have learned to work with my hair. I have learned and grown with it and know what products to use, what products I can't use, what products work good, and what products work awful. So I would have to say I wish I would have learned that earlier because throughout my entire life I had poofy curly hair. I didn't know how to style it or anything. It wasn't until like high school when I first started using mousse and scrunching it and making it actually look decent. So I think it's kind of grown on me over the years. I like that in the mornings I can just take a shower, comb my hair, put some mousse in it and whatever other products I use and I'm ready to go out the door. I don't have to blow dry it, I don't straighten it, I don't have to curl it, like it's just a fast hairstyle. So that's really great. It's so handy to have curly hair I think. But 
on the other hand, sometimes I would like to straighten it and I would like to curl it and all that, but it takes so long because I have long hair. Like, I don't even know. It's like past my butt, I guess. But anyways, so that's number one. Um, Let's see. Number two would be my eyebrows. They're really big and like, I know I need to pluck so bad, but I like that they're full and when I do pluck, they have a really nice shape. And, like, you could tell that I need to pluck, like, right under here. But once that's gone, it'll be, like, a really just, like, dink, dink, like, a nice shape. And I've always gotten compliments on my eyebrows ever since I was younger. Everyone wants to have them because they're just so big and full and easy to shape and stuff like that. So I like those. And next, I like my eyelashes. You can't really tell right now that they're long, but they're kind of long. Um, They're not the longest. I've seen people with long eyelashes. But I like the way they look with mascara. I think mascara really enhances them really nice and makes them look even longer. And I just, I really like the way my eyes look with mascara and eyeliner on. I don't really like the way they look without anything on. But I will deal with it because that's just life. Um, So yeah, those are my three top things that I like about myself. And the three things I don't like about myself, but remember, we shouldn't not, we should not hate the way we look, we are who we are, that's who makes you, you, and that's who makes me, me, so just love yourself, guys, and, you know, God made you, and you're God's creation, and your parents' creation, and you are you, and you're beautiful, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video, and sorry about the no makeup, but I thought it would go great with the video, kind of showing how we put on a face, not only to cover up certain things, but also because it's fun, it's a creative outlook, it's not just to cover ugliness or whatever, because I think makeup can only enhance your beauty, it doesn't cover up who you really are. Um, yeah, with that said, I will leave you guys to be. Have a great day, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, Bye. guys, so I just finished doing my makeup, and as you can see, I look a, just a tad bit different. I don't think I look that much different, but I did my mascara and my eyeliner, you know, just my, um, my whole foundation routine and lip gloss. So... Um, I don't know. See, you can't see that line very much. I mean, I could barely see it, but not at all. So, yeah, I just want to remind you guys that makeup is your friend. It's to enhance your already beauty that you have. And, yeah, just have fun with it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys, I just wanted to add one more thing. I just wanted to tell you that at the end of this video, which is going to be in, like, two seconds, I'm going to add a before and after picture one without makeup and one with makeup. So, yeah, just thought I'd tell you. Bye.